The legalization of abortion has been argued nonstop all over the world. Some argue it should be legal because the woman should be able to choose what happens with her body, whereas others argue that it shouldn't be legal because the fetus is a living thing, so it'd be like committing murder. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the definition of abortion is the termination of a pregnancy after accompanied by resulting in or closely followed by the death of the embryo or fetus. In the court case Roe v. Wade, the Supreme Court has ruled that the Constitution protects a woman's right to an abortion. Through the end of the first trimester, several laws have been challenged to federal courts involving abortions. The website gail.com stated that the denial of state funds for the procedure have been upheld, but others, like the ones requiring spousal consent for an abortion, were struck down. There are many pros to legalizing abortions. For example, the U.S. Supreme Court has declared abortion to be a fundamental right guaranteed by the U.S. Constitution. Also, ProCon.org lists that the reproductive choice empowers women by simply giving them control over their bodies. The fetus becomes a person and is able to survive outside the womb after birth, not at conception which means that it is a living thing by the time most people go to get an abortion. Having access to legal, professionally performed abortions reduces maternal injury and death from getting unsafe illegal abortions. Another pro for abortions is that women who receive abortions are less likely to suffer mental health problems than women who wanted one but were denied the option to get one. Abortions also gives pregnant women the option to choose not to bring fetuses that have profound abnormalities to full term, which this then in turn saves them from any suffering they will encounter throughout life. It could be um, many hospital stays or surgeries because of these abnormalities or simple just not living life the way any other person would be able to to live their life. Women who are denied abortions are also more likely to become unemployed, to be on public welfare, and to be below the poverty line, and to become victims of domestic violence. The website BBC states that abortions should be legal because it should be a woman's right to choose what happens to their bodies. Lastly, the right to have an abortion is vital for gender equality. Guys get to choose what happens with their bodies, so it can be considered an an equality issue if women are forced to choose to bring a baby full term or not. Both genders should have the choice. Even though these are important positives for abortion, there are also some negatives that need to be considered. One big reason that has been stated a lot is that abortion kills the fetus, making it murder. Life begins at conception, so the unborn babies are human beings that deserve the right to live. So... They should be able to choose, it's argued that they should be able to choose if they live or die. Also, the fetuses do feel pain during the abortion process. So, it's another huge negative because as they're being pulled apart, they're feeling all of that pain. Abortions can also cause psychological damage. It has been found that young adult women who undergo an abortion may be at increased risk for depression. Another con to abortions is that they reflect 
is that selective abortion is based on genetic abnormalities is overt discrimination. It is also said that if a woman becomes pregnant, they should then accept the responsibility that comes with producing a child. Lastly, the original text of the Hippocratic Oath, which is traditionally taken by doctors when swearing to practice medicine ethically, forbids abortion. Due to all of these reasons on both sides, I have chosen to side with the side that says abortion is wrong and should not be legalized. One huge thing that influenced this choice was when I read that the fetuses can feel the pain of the abortion. And I feel that no one should have to feel that kind of pain. And if they are a human being and can feel it, it's just wrong and should not be upheld. Whatever. Whatsoever. Another reason that led to my choice was um, some family that I know has been against abortion, so a lot of my growing up has been based on, you know, if you conceive a child, you should then have to raise a child. That abortion is wrong for religious reasons, ethical reasons, so that's why I chose to go against abortion. 